Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. And boy, do I got a crazy story for you. Yes, I saw this on my newsfeed earlier and I just couldn't believe it. Even for the dairy industry, they've hit a whole new low of hypocrisy here. For Breast Cancer Awareness Month, the dairy industry, at least this one manufacturer, is making pink dairy hutches, pink calf hutches, I should say. You know, those plastic containers that they put baby cows in? Yes, pink hutches for the baby cows. In a second, I'll get into the details of why this is such a horrible, horrific idea, but apparently Agriplastics, the manufacturer of this pink hutch, already know because they had a post for this pink hutch situation on their Facebook page. Well, it's been removed. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, on this other industry website, there was a giveaway for the pink cancer awareness dairy hutch. Well, if you go to the website, well, the link to that story is gone. But if you still have the URL like I do, the page still exists, but the content's all gone except for comments. And I think this is revealing why they removed the story and the Facebook page, because the comments are all from vegans telling them what a horrible idea this is. So hopefully you guys have seen What the Health by now because what they describe in that movie is exactly what's happening here. You have here a classic example of a conflict of interest. Like say, the dairy industry, as they described in What the Health, you'll play giving money to the Susan B. Komen Foundation, which is all about breast cancer awareness. While here, same thing, you have the dairy industry giving money to another breast cancer cause. Why is it that the dairy industry gives money to breast cancer causes? Why couldn't they fund, like, say, heart disease causes or emphysema or something else like that? They give money to groups where there's a conflict of interest. And the conflict of interest is that it's been long established that dairy is implicated in causing certain types of cancers, namely breast cancer. So it makes you wonder, what is the dairy industry's motivation for funding these breast cancer awareness causes? Is it to keep them quiet? So not only is dairy strongly linked to breast cancer, it's also the cause of misery and suffering for millions of animals. I'm talking about the cows involved in making milk. Yeah, most people think, oh, cows are just happy. They're getting milked on farms. No, it's not like that at all. Let's have a look at how it really goes down. Why are cows even able to produce milk? It's because they are pregnant. Well, there's several issues going on here. First of all, they're not naturally pregnant. They are artificially inseminated, constrained in what's often called as a rape rack to, to impregnate them. And once they're pregnant and able to produce milk, well, they're gonna give birth too. So what happens to the birth calf? Well, it's a pretty horrific fate. If it's a male calf, well, they're no good, right? You can't milk them and they're only gonna wanna drink the milk of their mother the way nature intended it. Well, their fate is to become veal or just slaughtered immediately. Your average American family is just blissfully unaware of the environmental damage caused by their daily consumption of meat and dairy products. For example, here in California, where water can be really scarce at times during times of drought, while well, your average person uses about 1,500 gallons of water a day. Well, about half of that, though, is associated with meat and dairy products. And let's talk about waste. This is crazy. Most people have no idea how much waste is produced on dairy farms. And a typical large farm of say 2,500 cows, that produces the same amount of waste as a town of over 400,000 people. Well, scientists have been asking the question that no one wants to ask lately is, have we gone too far as far as polluting our planet, putting too many greenhouse gases into the atmosphere for humans to do anything to stop the inevitable destruction of our nice climate that we've enjoyed for so long? I'm saying our children's futures might be screwed. So the best thing you can do is go vegan, stop drinking dairy if you truly care about the future of the planet for your children. I mean, this whole pink dairy calf hutch idea is just absolutely pointless and ridiculous and just absolutely insulting. I mean, is it supposed to make anyone feel good? I mean, does the cow, the baby cow, just freshly taken from its mother forever, put into this hutch, does that baby cow feel better knowing, well, my life sucks now, but at least I know that I'm in a pink hutch and that's helping support breast cancer awareness. Does it make the farmers that do this feel better? It makes no one feel better other than the dairy industry. It's just a marketing tact that they're using to make themselves look good, like they're supporting a worthy cause. Well, the irony is that they're directly responsible for the disease that that cause is fighting for. 
So please post your questions and comments down below. Did you see this story pop up in your news feeds early this week and were just like incensed like I was like, gee, how hypocritical, how stupid of an idea it is to have pink hutches to put baby cows in. You know, so let me know your thoughts about this. If you didn't see it, let me know what your thoughts are. You know, if you heard it from me here first. And um, like this video if you got some out of it. And um, share it with a friend who's into dairy and thinks dairy's great and it's going to be great for them, their bodies, and the future of the planet. Share it with them. Sh you know, drop a truth bomb on them. So anyway, um, that's all to say this time. So lay off that dairy and keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. And I'd like to give some big shout outs to our latest supporters on Patreon. Thanks so much guys for helping us keep the show going, bringing you regular high quality, at least I hope it's high quality content. So big thanks to Sable, Ken, Danny, a vegan for the animals, Christella, Kristen, and Robert. Thank you guys.